Yes, it's the $5 Dollar Tree DIY Challenge. This is hosted by myself, Clueless Mama D, and my good friend Rhea from Rhea's World of Ideas, who is an amazing DIY YouTuber. Hit the playlist in the description after you're done watching my video. You'll be able to meet her and see everybody else's videos on what they came up with for $5. Now here's what I use for my problem, which is this messy glue gun because I don't have a glue gun holder. Feast your eyes on this beautiful wooden glue gun holder for $5 from Dollar Tree. I'm in love, guys. Look at it. It's so pretty. Now these are the things that you will need. There is five of them, $5, and I started with this little clipboard. I think they're both picture frames and Jenga. What's left of it after my son got a hold of it? <laughs> These are in the woodcraft section of Dollar Tree and I got two items from there. And those are the five items. So the first thing I did was go in with my wood glue because I really wanted this to last a long time and be nice and sturdy. So I pop that on on the end there and that is going to be what you're going to use to hold your glue sticks. You just want to make sure you wipe off the excess glue with a damp cloth and I just kind of push it down a little bit and let it dry. Now here's a problem. Addition originally I wasn't going to use Jenga blocks. I thought maybe it would just hang like that. So I had to come up with something innovative and my husband was like, why don't you use those Jenga blocks? And I was like, yeah, I got those Jenga blocks in my hall. You're right. So I took this out and ripped off the paper and your girl has still forgotten to invest in some glue gun. So the struggle is always going down on my channel. And I was too lazy to get the hair blower to make it go off easy. So this time I just sanded it down until it felt like a smooth enough surface. I know some of you are cringing. I'm cringing with you, honestly. <laughs> If you're new to my channel, you can take this opportunity to subscribe and hit the bell. If you love thrifty lifestyle videos, I do DIYs, decor, and sometimes thrifted fashion, and we always have fun on this channel. So please subscribe and hit that bell if you wanna see me ever again. So I took this little piece off, off as you see, but then I put it back just to kind of gauge where I should be putting that block because it was holding it in the perfect position before. And I just outlined it with a pencil and <laughs> I tried hot glue and wood glue because I was running late for this collab and my husband was like, do not mix hot glue and wood glue. But I like to live on the wild side. Basically, if I can do it, you can do it. And if I die doing it, don't try it. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna take this picture frame and because I wanted to do blue and gold, I'm not gonna keep that silver. And for the back, I just ripped this piece off and I wanted to just put something that matched and would look pretty on the glue gun holder. So I decided to just go ahead and glue this paper on here. I would have just gone without the paper, but there was little holes in the backing of the picture frame. So that's why I glued the paper on with a glue stick, nothing fancy. And then once I got that on, I busted out my favorite F. If you're already a subscriber, you know I'm obsessed with Auntie Tay's chalk paint. And this time I'm trying this blue for the first time and it's gorgeous. I get so excited every time I see her colors. As always, linked in the description is her shop. She's a fellow YouTube mom and she has an amazing craft shop and I have discounts in the description in case you wanna craft with this awesome, awesome paint. And there's more stuff. So I took the frame here as well 
and I just sanded it a bit because it's so smooth. This is the only piece that's gonna go on here that wasn't wood. You can actually omit the frame and just use the glass, but I really like the look of the frame and I wanted a classy goo gun, glue gun, goo gun, glue gun look. So I went ahead and sprayed some gold because I was just feeling gold. I'm feeling gold lately like a lot of gold my last DIY if you guys saw the hanging Dollar Tree shells those were like a pretty green and gold sea foam and gold and now I'm doing this here so I wanted to put something in the middle of this so I'm just outlining without the glass here to see where the edges are so I could make sure I was centering it and I wanted to do kind of a glitter flower but your girl Mm hmm needs some practice when it comes to glittering with stencils <laughs> so you'll see I went in with my Mod Podge Mod Podge I can never say Mod Podge it should be called Mod Podge because that's just easier to say comment below if you agree I went in with my Mod Podge and just dabbed with this stencil foam brush that is also from the Dollar Tree. But I really need your advice. Any advice you guys have when you're dealing with glitter and on something like this, like how do you not make the Mod Podge, Mod Podge kind of spill over and get the glitter everywhere? Because honestly, I'm covered in toe for <laughs> with glitter. I am gonna be shining at work today. But yeah, either way, it turned out beautiful because this glitter is the bomb. It is also Auntie Tay's beautiful glitter. She's got over 40 of them and they're just such really good quality. You guys just wait till you see the end and you'll see like the light actually shimmering on her glitter. So after I kind of cleaned it up a bit to make the flower more defined, I popped it into the frame and I really like the way it turned out and you'll see where I put it after. Okay, so my husband was totally right. I had to peel off the hot glue slash wood glue combination. I didn't die, but it wasted some time. So do not do it that way either stick to just hot glue or wood glue I don't know why seemed like a good idea to me again I'm wiping off the excess glue and as you can see I've got this little lift but it's still not perfect it doesn't have enough support so I played around with things and I decided to do sort of like a little step that the little handle thingy can kind of just sit and rest in. So I took that second Jenga block and a little less than halfway, I glued it on top of the other one to make a step or lip, whatever you want to call it. And then I let that dry. The wood glue that I'm using takes 30 minutes to dry. So it did take a while to do this project, but it's super easy. So last but not least, you want to make sure that your glue gun is stable. So to come up with that, I went to the trusty Jenga pieces again and just kind of played around with how wide I was going to have to bring them. And I put half of them with the wood glue and some clips in. Bear with me, this is looking more complicated than it is. The reason why I'm pushing it with the clips in is just so it kind of keeps sticking with the glue, but I also, of course, didn't wait till the glue was dried. So I'm just adjusting it to get the perfect width to hold that glue gun securely. And then once I found that, I went ahead and removed excess glue. Okay, so I had to figure out here exactly where I wanted this to go and I just did a little bit of pencil there and I left the frame there too so that I, you know, 
that there was enough space for the frame because the last thing you want to do is glue it and then the frame doesn't fit but like I said you could omit the frame and actually just glue the glass down if you wanted but I was feeling the gold as I said so comment below and let me know which colors you're feeling this summer last summer for me it was definitely yellow but I don't know I'm just like loving like blacks whites and golds this year so now to make sure that everything is all one color before I go with my main paint I'm using the white chalk paint as a primer to get everything in sync and after that dried I got to do the fun part which was make this baby blue and I'm so glad I picked this color So I'm not going to bore you guys too much. Comment below if you are still with me. Use your most recent emoji on your phone. It says a lot about you. <laughs> Mine's usually the face palm <laughs> or the laughing out loud. Um, but yeah, I don't want to show too much of the painting. You get the gist. I painted it blue and I actually ended up doing two full coats of the blue because the white kind of sho showed through a little bit. So this is me working on the second coat and I learned that this brush size is definitely better than the other ones that I was using. There it is guys, it's not over. Let me finish, let me finish. Hold on a second. So here's me trying to mod podge again. Mod podge. I will. If you are a subscriber here, then you know I can't pronounce anything. Nothing at all. So <laughs> this is just a normal thing on Clueless Mama D. I feel like I'm talking way too much in this video, guys. I am sorry. Okay, so now I'm going in with that fabulous glitter again and hoping and praying it's not going to be just a big glitter bulb because the stencil was not even very tight to this. I couldn't figure out a way to tape it down very well. So I'm still super happy. And that's the bling. Look at the bling from her glitter, guys. Again, coupon in description. Check out shopantitay.com. I love her glitter. I love her paint. So once that was in, I definitely had to go around and fix some of the Mod Podge that kind of leaked through the stencil. And then I just got my hot glue on and stuck this frame right in the middle, which I had already measured out. There it is. I love, love this blue with gold. I am so happy. I chose these colors. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Did this come through? Did it come through? There is the beautiful flowers. Again, not perfection by any means, but still sparkles in the light. It's so secure, guys. You're not going to have to worry about your glue gun tipping. It's sturdy. It's mostly wood. It's the bomb. Make sure you subscribe and check out my other Dollar Tree videos right here. Oh, and the playlist in the description. Love you, lovelies.